Hello everyone, Foodemy is back with another very informative video for all the food technologists out there. In this video, we will be talking about the latest application invited by the food safety regulator of our country, FSSAI. FSSAI has invited applications for Food Analyst Examination and Junior Analyst Examination 2021. We will talk about it all in detail and we know that there is a lot of confusion about this exam, whether this exam will give you a government job or not, what after qualifying this exam, what are the benefits of qualifying this exam, what are the eligibility criteria and the list goes on. But hey, I assure you this video will clarify all of the doubts you ever had about Analyst Examination at FSSAI. So without any further delay, let's begin. Before we get into the details about this examination, let us talk about the role of a food analyst. Food analysts carry out the analysis of the food sample in a food laboratory. The analysis report of the food sample is of immense importance to know the status of safety and food quality. Now let us talk about this examination, what these examinations by FSSAI are and why are they being conducted. The food analyst examination is basically to increase the pool of qualified food analysts in our country and to fulfill the requirements of primary or referral labs notified by FSSAI. So far, six food analyst examinations have been conducted by FSSAI and this year it is going to be the seventh food analyst examination. Now, talking about the other exam, which is Junior Analyst Examination, FSSAI has been conducting Junior Analyst Examination to create a pool of talented young professionals who will be a part of the nationwide food safety testing network. The basic aim for this Junior Analyst Examination is to encourage fresh postgraduates who to have job prospects in food industry and elite laboratories. So, uh, the first junior analyst examination was conducted in 2017 and this year it is the fourth junior analyst examination being conducted by FSSAI. So, the main focus of both the exams is to have qualified food analysts to take up roles at food laboratories. But the difference is that the junior analyst examination is for fresh postgraduates who have no prior experience in the food testing domain, while the food analyst exam is for people who are already having experience in this area. Please note that neither of the exams will give you a job. Now you would be thinking then why to appear for it? The answer is that after qualifying these exams, you become eligible to apply at food testing labs and also become eligible to apply for any upcoming food analyst government job vacancy at organizations such as FSSAI. Recently in 2019, FSSAI had government job vacancies for the post of food analyst. And guess what? Only those candidates who have qualified the food analyst examination were eligible to sit for the recruitment process. In case of junior analyst examination, if you qualify the junior analyst exam and if you take, if you attain an experience of three years in the food testing labs, you become eligible to directly give a practical test to get upgraded to food analyst. FSSAI issues certificates to all the qualified candidates that makes you eligible to apply for food testing laboratories and also gives you an upper edge over other candidates. Now let us see who all are eligible to appear for this examination. The eligibility criteria for applying for junior analyst and food analyst examination is that the candidate should hold a master's degree in chemistry, biochemistry or microbiology or dairy chemistry or food technology or food and nutrition or hold a bachelor's of technology that is B.Tech in dairy or oil or hold a degree in veterinary sciences from a recognized university. The difference between the eligibility for food analyst and junior analyst is that for food analyst examination, the candidate should possess experience of at least three years in food analysis. Yes, experience is mandatory for food analyst examination. However, the case is not the same for junior analyst examination. Freshers with no prior experience in food analysis can apply for junior analyst examination. Talking about the age limit, there is no age limit for food analyst examination but for junior analyst examination there is a maximum age limit of 28 years for general category. For SCST category the maximum age limit is 33 years and for OBC it is 31 years. As these examinations are not for an employment or any direct recruitment, there is no such reservation. Talking about the exam pattern, food analyst examination has two levels. 
paper 1 that is theory paper and paper 2 that is a practical test only those candidates who pass and qualify the theory paper will be eligible to sit for the practical test talking about the julia analyst examination there is just one paper that is a theory paper paper 1 only those candidates who pass and qualify the theory paper will be awarded the certificate as qualified junior analyst now for junior analyst after qualifying this paper theory paper and after attaining the requisite experience of three years in food testing lab they can directly apply for the practical test without giving the written test for food analyst please note that this opportunity to directly apply for the practical test for is only available for the qualified junior analyst only once now for both junior analyst and food analyst the paper is of multiple choice questions and it is for 200 marks the duration of the exam is for 3 hours the syllabus for theory paper for both food analyst and junior analyst examination covers national international food laws and standards planning organization and setting up of food laboratories laboratory safety food preservation packaging processing human nutrition, food chemistry, food microbiology and obviously the physical, chemical and instrumental analysis of food. The link for the detailed syllabus as prescribed by FSSCI has been enclosed in the description box. The portal for the applications for food analyst and junior analyst examination has been opened from 8th April 2021. The last date for, for the application is 7th May 2021. Please visit the official website of FSSAI to fill the applications. The tentative date for the theory examination is 23rd May and that for practical test is 17th and 18th July. The application fee for junior analyst examination is 1500 while for food analyst examination it is 2000 and it is to be submitted through online mode only. So if you're looking for a career in food analysis and testing then qualifying these exams can help you a lot at various levels. If you're a fresher then if you and you wish to make a career in food analysis then qualifying the junior analyst examination can help you a lot. It makes you eligible to apply at FSSI notified laboratories and you can get a job there. Then after attaining 3 years of experience at those laboratories, at those laboratories, you can directly give the practical test for the position of food analyst without writing the theory examination again. Or if you are already working in the food analysis sector and you wish to apply for this food analyst examination, so there are a lot of perks for giving this examination, you become eligible for food analyst recruitment at FSSAI or other state FDAs and you can get a chance to hold an analyst position at government organization. Other perks could be, this could give you a raise or a promotion at your current job also. So this was all the information you needed before applying for this examination. If you need any other information, please feel free to reach out to us through our social media platform. Team Foodimi wishes good luck to all the aspirants. We hope this video was helpful and if you think so, don't hesitate to hit the like button. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated for more and more informative videos. Thanks again for watching.